you can see that we're back in that sales team info file that we used earlier on in this skill and I'd like to use this to try out a couple of examples of if functions. Now with an if function you are asking Excel to perform what is described as a logical test and then return different values based on whether the outcome of that logical test is true or false. And I think that'll make more sense when we actually see an example. So let's imagine, I'm just going to add an extra heading here for bonus with a question mark. So let's imagine we are going to pay our salespeople a bonus, but only if they have earned more than a million pounds worth of sales to date. So I want this column to say yes, if they have earned more than a million pounds in sales. So therefore, yes, they get a bonus. Otherwise, it'll display no. So we'll do this as our first example. So it's going to be an if function. So equals if. Let's just double click to pick it up from the list of suggestions there. As we know, it'll give us this helper to indicate what the arguments are. And the first, is the logical test that I mentioned in the introduction. So we're asking Excel to perform this logical test. And the test is, is that cell there greater than a million? So a million is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, zero. So that's my logical test. Is cell J2 greater than a million? So that's the first argument. So let's put the comma in to uh, move on to the next argument. And now I'm indicating to Excel what I want it to display in cell K2 here if that logical test is true. Well, I want to display the word yes, they do get a bonus. And because it's text that I want to display, I have to put it in quotes. If it was just a number I wanted to display, I could just type the number. But as I say, text has to be in quotes. So that's the value of true argument. Let's type the comma to move on to the next argument. And let's just make it say no if they don't um, get a bonus. So there we go. So if their sales to date is more than a million pounds, display the word yes. Otherwise, display the word no. So let me just um, enter in that formula. You can see for that first row that is correct because Bernie here has indeed <laughs> earned more than a million pounds in sales to date. If I repeat that all the way down, we should see, yeah, let's just check the no's. Yeah, th those are all less than a million. Good. If rather than just saying yes or no, we wanted to actually display the amount of bonus that they get. So this time we're saying, OK, if their sales to date is more than a million, pay them an extra thousand pounds. Otherwise, pay them 100 pounds. So this time it's going to be the same logical test. So equals if and the logical test is, is that greater than a million? One, two, three, four, five, six. If so, display a value of, what did I say, £1,000. I've already forgot what I said. So we're going to pay them a £1,000 bonus if they have um, achieved more than a million pounds sales to date. If they haven't, so if the logical test um, comes out with a false outcome, then we're only going to pay them £100. You get the idea. So again, close the brackets and just repeat that all the way down. Good. Let's just imagine, though, that this um, salesperson down here, so Vera, so you can see that she has just about got over a million pounds in sales to date. I'm going to change that so that it is exactly a million. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll see, therefore, that her bonus has gone down to a hundred pounds rather than a thousand pounds, because, of course, our test was if this value is greater than a million. And then we realize, oh, actually, our management has said if they've earned a million or more, they get the, you know, they get the full bonus. So I'm just going to go back up to the top of the column and change this so that the logical test isn't just greater than, it's greater than or equals to. So that's how we would write greater than or equals to. Let's just input that formula, repeat it all the way down and hope that Vera, yes, phew, she's been credited with the, you know, achieving the million pound sales to date. Yes, she gets the full bonus. Let me just take you to this other sheet here, this performance data sheet that we have seen before and show you this column, this commission column, because that has already got an if statement in there. It's basically saying if the country cell, so if E2, but of course, because this is formatted as a table, it's using the structured reference. So if the country equals UK, so that's the logical test. If the country equals UK and because we're using text there, we had to put it in quotes a bit like the yes and no example we did a second ago. So if you're using text in an if function, you have to put it in quotes. So if the country field equals UK, so that's the test. If it does, then display 4% for the commission, otherwise display 2% for the commission amount. So for whatever reason, UK sales earn a bit more commission than other sales. And the reason why I point that out to you is that it's quite nice. We can see the structured reference in action there. If we were to go back to the file um, before we formatted it as a table there, you can see the difference in the commission if statement there. So it's if E2 equals UK, display 4%, otherwise display 2%.
So with these examples that we've just looked at in this video, we are only working with two possible outcomes, aren't we? You know, is that logical test true or false? There are just two outcomes there. But we can get really clever and nest if statements within each other. And we can even have multiple logical tests. <laughs> but looking at the skills measured for the Microsoft Excel exams, it appears that that more advanced fun stuff has been reserved for the Excel expert course. And so what we've just done in this video is all we need for this particular course course which accompanies the Excel specialist exam so we're going to leave it there thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest from CBT Nuggets oh and also if you're new to IT or are interested in an IT career visit cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free yes free a free trial